Because these are grand jury indictments, the specifics in this case are scarce. But the prosecutor here tells me it was important to him to have a grand jury look at this because this is the third teacher from the school district to face these types of charges. We felt the facts and circumstances of this case lent itself to an independent review. Three teachers within one school district. Corden Central Middle and High School teacher Kellen Hubert pleaded guilty to child seduction in 2015. New Middletown Elementary School teacher Corey Faith charged with 36 counts of child molestation in 2018. Now Corden Central High School teacher Michael Emmert has been indicted on two counts of child seduction. Those charges stem uh, from allegations that he was receiving sexual acts in his classroom from a student in 2015. Records show the student was 17 years old at the time. There was an outcry uh, that ultimately led to this investigation. Harrison County Prosecutor Otto Schulk couldn't say who came forward with allegations, but the school district did say Emmert was put on administrative leave immediately once those allegations came to light. In a statement, the district said they're deeply troubled by these charges and will continue to take necessary action in order to protect all children, adding the corporation does not tolerate this behavior. The prosecutor is praising the district for their help in this case. I can assure everyone whose children go to South Harrison School Corporation, the administration is top notch in terms of working with law enforcement, addressing this. They remain vigilant. And he's encouraging parents to do the same. All I can preach is vigilance. Talk to your children, talk to their peers, know what's going on in their life, be active, be engaging. And we have found that when parents do that, when they are involved in a child's life, it drastically reduces the chance of victimization. I'm told Emmert has posted bond since his initial hearing here today. His trial is set to start February of next year. I'm in Harrison County, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.